Even in the days of Occupy Wall Street, uh, that's when the patriotic millionaires were founded, and it's a group of high net worth individuals dedicated to redistributing wealth in America. I think Joe should be leading this segment. Uh, Morris Pearl is here, uh, chair of the Patriotic Millionaires, and uh, it's nice to have you here on Valentine's Day. Love is in the air. Thank you. Uh, help us with this. It just. Uh, Look, there's a lot of loopholes in the system, and I'm all for closing them and, I, and, and all of that. The question is, what is the right number? When you see Elizabeth Warren, Bernie Sanders, name your, name your person, AOC out there with 70 percent uh, numbers, uh, other things, people calling it confiscatory, what do you think of that? Look, this nation was created with tax rates much higher than we have now. The problem is that people are not accepting this growing inequality. And that's what we saw in 2016 in the election, that they wanted a change. And they got a change, but in so, a but different what, direction. What's the answer? And let me just make one point, which is I think there's a little bit of a myth going on about, about the higher tax rates at, uh, at, on, the, on the very high end. Not to say that they weren't on the rate card, if you will, but that the actual effective tax rate was significantly lower in large part because there were a remarkable amount of deductions that were available to people that at least under today's tax code, uh, they are not in the same way. Look, even today, the wealthy people are not paying taxes at the actual rates on the rate card. People of great wealth are getting their money from things like long-term capital right. gains. I pay a much lower tax rate, I'm sure, than you guys who are getting big salaries. Because all of my taxes are investment income. My tax rate is like 16%. Okay, so what's a, what's a fair number for you? So, so there's the, the Buff, when Buffett was doing it, it was the Buffett rule, 30% at, at sort of a, a, a base minimum. It should, what number? Should, what's, the, what's the proper number? I, mean, I don't know what the number is, but it should, we should have people who earn a lot of money paying higher rates than people who earn less money. And we have the opposite now. It's upside down. People who are very wealthy are paying lower taxes than people who actually now, work you, for a living. Find patri did you name your organization yourself, the Patriotic? Well, did you, why not call it the virtuous Patriotic Millionaires and just really go for it? And, and, and when, how are you deciding what patriotism is versus someone who thinks small government, economic growth helps the most people. How, how, how does higher taxes, redistribution, which generally hasn't worked, how does that define patriotism to you? And why are you entitled to define it? Well, patriotism is like what this country is founded on. They name these states commonwealths because we need common wealth to do the things that made this country People great. have played this, this, you know, learned hand, right? The most cited judge sure. in, in history, probably. Even that wasn't Supreme Court, but Here's what he said, and he specifically says uh, that it, there is not even a patriotic duty. To, I guess you disagree with him, but it, one's taxes over and over, and the courts have said there's nothing sinister in arranging affairs as to keep taxes as low as possible. Everyone does it, rich and poor alike. Yep. And now, now the other thing, let's say a man founds a company, becomes a millionaire, creates hundreds of jobs leaves all of his money to charity, never pays taxes. Are, is he one of the selfish, greedy millionaires, or can he rise to your virtuous, patriotic millionaire level? Well, sure. People who leave all of their money to charity are They don't pay taxes. Fine. Would you want to... That's, you well, um, that's not, a, that's you, not in your... I'll have an interesting question for you. Would you consider some form of... Uh, 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 Sounds uh, like uh, it. Uh, uh, it's going to be a yes. A deduction limit on charitable contributions, for example. No, I mean, we're fine with charitable contributions. Learned Hand was right. I think everybody pays the taxes they're required to pay. So do I. That's why I think we need to change the rules. We can't run this country on sort of a pay-as-you-go basis of everyone wanting to pay what they want. Why do you think that taxing millionaires and giving that money to the government is money better spent than millionaires deciding what charitable organizations to give to, which could be universities, it could be you name it. It could be. Why, why is that a better distribution of wealth? Sure. Plenty of people have, you know, things named after the universities. But we also need a lot of things that aren't famous, and things like highways and sewer treatments and all of the things that make America infrastructure that, that we actually need to run on. We need voters deciding how to spend their so, money, so not I, millionaires. I don't disagree with you. The question is, how do you raise that money? What, what do you think is the fairest way to do that? What would you, if you could do one thing to the tax code right now, what would you do? I would make our taxes the kind of tax rates that we had in the 1950s and 60s when we actually built the infrastructure that made America great. But there's a whole group of people that, that are not necessarily not patriotic, that feel like growing government extravagantly and, and taxing the private sector and the risk takers is actually counterproductive 
to growth. Therefore, you don't get the growth which creates jobs, which creates the tax dollars, which allows you to do all these things, and that instead of getting 3.5% growth, you get 1.5% growth with all your feel-good initiatives, and then you're just hurting the people that you supposedly are feeling patriotic Look, about helping. People, how does that not work? How do you know that I'm not right about keeping money in the private sector being better than the right. government? Because people in the private sector, investors, people like me, people who are retired, people who are making all of their money from capital gains, they're not doing anything to help growth. There's nothing I do to help growth. I run an advocacy organization full time. Let me, let me ask you one, let me ask you, you one question. Replace Stephen Schwartzman, whose birthday it is, by the way, uh, happy birthday, Steve Schwartzman. Replace him with Steven Spielberg, just for a second, okay? Do you think that there's, a, a, because I think that people uh, may, may have different views of, these t of, of what's going on here, but if I told you that Steven Spielberg was not gonna make the second or third movie that year because the rate was marginally at 70 or 80 percent, which, is, that, is, that a, is that a good thing for the country? Is that a good thing for society? And, and I, I, I suggest that, I'm not saying that, I'll leave it to you. Look, I've never heard a businessman saying he'd rather stay in bed and earn zero rather than getting 20 or 30 or 40 percent of the money from a business. That doesn't make any sense. Even at a higher marginal tax rate, you still get more money creating a business than you do We've not creating a business. We've seen plenty of, of, uh, of wasteful government spending. We've seen redistribution efforts that, that don't work. I just don't see how you can, I guess, I mean, I must be a selfish, greedy millionaire. I've saved up, I'm not, and I used to get your emails and I thought they were insufferable, insufferably virtuous, and, and I just, you know, I'm sorry. Oh, but, we'd be but, happy to send you more okay. emails. No, no, please don't.